<sighs> All right, here we go. Here we go. <sighs> All right, we're back again at the University of Minnesota and the Golden Arches. McDonald's, there you go. So we are at uh, lunchtime, Minneapolis. This strip right here, 4th Street, is uh, full of restaurants. So we're going to get a lot of traffic to talk to these sheep, try to wake them up, have them look at me crazy, find out my name is Idiot again today. And then, I don't know, down here there's like residential stuff, so nothing really big here. But, uh, Here's our sign. The signage is if we landed on the moon, there'd be a McDonald's on it by now. You would think so, right? And guess where we're at? We're right in front of McDonald's. So let's take a little walk. We'll take a little walk. I'll give you guys a tour of the area. We're gonna be here for a while, so might as well, you know, walk around. Stay warm. It's about one degree right now, 33, 34 degrees for you Americans. Here's the line for McDonald's. Look at all these sheep. This is unbelievable. Look at this. This is embarrassing. This is really sad. I, I don't know what to... I just can't... I can't explain to somebody that when you buy a burger for a dollar, what kind of value do you think you're getting out of that? But, you know, when you eat that regularly, watch TV, watch your news, CNN, Fox, local news, whatever, you are ingrained into this system. And there's downtown Minneapolis for you guys down there. So that's how close we are to Minneapolis. So we're going to pedal some knowledge here at the corner. Just get some looks, you know, people are going to be like, oh no, you, I'm looking for money. Like I said last night, people would give a homeless person who's asking for money at the corner of a street more respect than they would for me. And I'm trying to just give them truth, you know, I'm not, I'm not lying to them. I'm just having them explore, you know. So this is a dollar off any drink. How you doing? So, so I hope we can get some traffic as people come out or in. I think this entrance here might be the best option. I have a prop here too, speaking of the moon. I'm going to use Jake Gibson's uh, illustration. That's an apple. So we're going to use that as an illustration for why are all the craters at a 90 degree angle on the moon? Why aren't there any, like, streaks of craters, right? You know, there should be a two mile strip of an asteroid that hit there, you know, two billion years ago, right? So... You guys are going to find out why I titled my post the way I did, but I'll give you a tip. If you've ever played GTA 5 and you let your character go idle, you're going to see a lot of that today. You're going to see just, just, uh, just hanging out, you know. If people want to interact, that's cool. You know, if they don't, that's cool too, just as long as they see the sign and they know that we cannot land on the moon because it is not a physical object to be landed on. It is a light in the sky, not a solid object. Here's this guy. Let's see if we can get this guy. How's it going, man? Yeah, I'm doing wonderful, man. Those people, they're old. Those people are old. They should know better. 
to go eat at McDonald's. Appreciate everybody uh, watching live or later tonight. You know, whichever is more convenient. I just I love uh, the opportunity to just come out here and just uh, dialogue with the public. Just kind of challenge them. If you landed on the moon, it would be a McDonald's on it by now. Yeah. Mm. What do you think? What do you think would be first? McDonald's, Starbucks, Wells Fargo? Um, McDonald's. McDonald's? Right on, man. You know if... What? Go ahead. McDonald's would be uh, number one because um, it's all the vendors. Yeah, right? Everybody knows McDonald's, right? I spent some time in Thailand. I can't tell you how many McDonald's there were there, man. And you know, in France, they don't even call it, you know, say French fries. They don't even call it French fries. What do they call it? I don't know. <laughs> you they know? Call them fries. They yeah, call them right. Fries. And they, use, they don't use ketchup for fries. Oh, uh, yeah, they, they use mayonnaise. Yeah, they right. They don't on. call it French fries. They call it. Oh, that's a good idea. But you know, though, I'll tell you one thing they don't have, though, they have one Native American in their mouth. <laughs> yeah, you're Native American? Yes, I am. Hey, right on, man. Which uh, tribe are you? I'm on Boys Fort. Your boy, my name is Bia Dill Webinus. Okay. Oh, that means strong brother standing on thunder clouds. Right on. And, man. Um, you know what? Cool. Well, back to the signage, right? The signage, man. Yeah, the it's signage, funny. man. Just trying to, you know, talk to people, right? I'll take McDonald's over. I'll take oh, McDonald's. Careful. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> That's cool, though. She's but uh, I got a question for you. Yep. Is the moon a physical object that can be landed on to even put a McDonald's there? Like, is that. Well, if you do all, the, if you do all the, like all the studying, all the studying I did, the moon is actually just like another rock. Oh yeah. It's like a frozen rock. Okay. So it's basically you got water on it, but as far as the warmth, yeah, it goes around so much like that. It has enough warmth. It doesn't have enough warmth to like sustain bacteria. Okay. Like sure. That would, that's what they told you in school, right? That's my own idea. Ah, uh, okay. Right on. Okay. But, um, but, but you know though, the moon is only like another meteor is going around like that. It's protecting her. And it's kind of weird though, that the creator put a fucking round circle to protect A circle or a ball? A circle. Okay, because a dinner plate's a circle, right? Well, no, dinner plate is a flat circle. Well, it's a circle though, right? Well, That's a circle, yeah. right? So are, yeah. we seeing, are we seeing a ball? Or a circle? Let's say a, 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 a ball, yeah. Okay, yeah, right you're, you're I mean, I, I know we're yeah. splitting hairs yeah, here. Yeah, okay, I okay. can look at that car over there and I can say, hey, that's a car, but it's really an SUV. You know, but let's... Okay. Because, I mean, really, that's hey. really what it gets down to, man. Okay, now, um, from what I studied, I mean, I'm not a college student. I'm yeah, neither student. am I. And um, check it out. From what I learned yeah. that uh, millions of years ago, right? Yeah. That the earth, like, bam, 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 we got attacked by all these fucking meteors. Sure. And the meteors had carried water, and the water carried life, and the life just had to come in there, but it didn't happen to be all of a sudden. Mm. But McDonald's had. Mm. McDonald's is the answer, I mean, McDonald's for most people. Had for Especially at 2 a.m. They were there since dinosaurs. Yeah? Dinosaurs, like, uh, Dinosaurs, fossil fuel, gasoline, stuff yep, like that, right? Yeah. Double that's... the particles are made. Ah, that sucks, man. Um, what if I was to tell you that the moon wasn't a physical object that could be landed on? What, what do you think about that idea? Uh, I think it'd be true, though, because, because you know what? Yeah, why? Because it's too freaking cold out there. Yeah? One, it's too cold. One, even if even the water were to go on that thing. Sure. You can't melt it up the paint. Yeah. It's like our, 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 that's it, that's it, that's it. Can I ask you a question? Yeah. Um, you're familiar with the, what the moon looks like, right? Yeah. Okay. Where do those craters come from? There's a lot of craters on there, right? Craters come from a lot of meteors that come over. There's a lot of meteors that do come over. You don't even know about. Okay. And actually, if you look at it, 
Why aren't there any meteors right now, though? Like, huh? what happened in the last, you know, 100, 2,000 years, something like that? You know, there's, there's meteors there. There are, okay. It's just that they, by, by taking them into the stratosphere, they burn up to so much you need to know. So, okay. Well, um, Follow-up question. Why? So uh, like why are all the craters at a 90-degree angle? But you can see pictures of the moon, and they're all at 90 degree angles, man. So it's like if I was to like just throw a ball right here on your no. chest, that that's how it would land, and it would like explode. There's no like two mile long gash of a meteor on the moon. They're just all 90 degrees. Can I give you a visual example to help you out? Um, I brought my little science model here. It's an apple. No. So let's say that this is the moon. Yeah. Okay, so those dots there, those are 90 degree impacts. But you don't see any like gashes like on the side like that on the moon. You know, let's just look at that. Oh, I see what you mean. Like, like, you know like, what I'm saying? Damn, like, how come yeah. they don't roll sideways? Yeah. I think what it is because of gravitational pull. Okay. So far. Sure. Um, and in addition to gravity, um, isn't the moon significantly smaller than the Earth? Like, big time smaller than the Earth, right? Yeah. Um, isn't the Earth's gravity strong enough to draw those meteors into its own orbit so it doesn't hit the moon? Because we only see one side of the moon, right? Yeah, we do. We do, okay. Yeah. So, how is it that the meteors flew through Earth to hit the moon? Yeah, they had to have flown through Earth. Through Earth. Huh. That's my okay. Sure, man. Well, I'll chew on that for a bit. And then you get a double quarter pounder. Hey, right on, man. Hey, what? You know what, though? Hey, you know what, though? I just want to say that all in all, the creator works in mysterious ways. He does, man. He certainly does. Why do you think? It's a week ago, I never thought I'd be standing out in Minneapolis, Facebook living stuff about the moon. You know? So he certainly does draw people to do some very interesting things. Um, but yeah, I appreciate it. I, I'm just going to hang out here. I'm going to talk yeah. to some more people. What's your name? My name is Jojo. Jojo. Joshua. Yeah. Right on, Joshua. Right on, yeah. man. I'll see you around. Yep. Stay up, man. Yep. That guy's what? 45, 55 years old? He's probably like in his 50s. That's And that's, that's it. That's it right there. That's your general... Consensus. That sucks. That really sucks. This guy did not get the memo today. Look at this guy in the blue shirt over here. How you doing, man? I sent you that memo. Sorry, man. You didn't get the memo? About how it's going to be like 30 degrees and windy outside? Nice out. <laughs> yeah, it's nice out. Hey, all right, man. Uh, we're just hanging out in front of McDonald's, just uh, challenging people's thought, provocative ideas and stuff, you know. <laughs> yeah, I mean, if we landed on the moon, we'd probably have a McDonald's on it, right? Yeah, it's all faked. Fake, yeah. exactly. If we could land on the moon, right? You must believe in the moon landing, right there, headphones? All right. Cool, man. Well, I hope to stay warm. When you get home, take a bunch of zinc so you don't get a cold, man. You know, you know what zinc is, right? No? Oh, oh man. What, is, what are they teaching kids here at the university, honestly? It's really sad. It's really unfortunate. Really, really unfortunate. Hey, we got this here, so we can avoid the wind a little bit if you want. Um, it is really windy here. It is really windy. We got the golden arches really big on the sign too, so we're really trying to draw attention. Hey, how you doing? Hi. <laughs> if we could land on it, right? Probably would be there. Probably would be there, but we can't because it's not real. 
It's just a light in the sky, honey. It's funny because people are like, when I stand here at the corner, I can just tell they're just like, oh crap, I don't want to lock eyes with this guy. What's going on? If it was true, right? It sucks, man. Yeah. Lot, hey, not a whole lot, man. How you doing? Just trying to get done with this bullshit final. Yeah? Yeah. A couple hour final you got going on? Yeah, I got like, yeah, it'll take me like an hour. Oh, wow. Hey, at least you'll be inside, right? Right. <laughs> What are you going to school for? The journals here, man. Oh, right on. Cool, man. And uh, aspirations to do what? Work in uh, fake... A in fake advertising. Advertising. Right. Awesome. I'm kind of advertising, too. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. I bet. Yeah. What kind of advertising? I'm going to the psychology of advertising right now. Oh, okay. How much did that cost? Fuck, I don't know. But... Yeah? You, you don't believe in the moon landing, though, do you? No. Right on, man. Amen. You laugh, but it's true. <laughs> what is... What is with the shirts? The t-shirts? Seriously, my fingers are cold right now. This guy's walking around. It's a big fella, though, so he's probably got some... insulation. <laughs> on a scooter. It's so cold outside. It's so cold outside. Uh, yeah. Claire. Boom! Look at that. And we're carrying this sign, too. Let me show you what I got. Figured it was, uh, appropriate. Look at that. You would think so, right? <coughs> you would think we would have... Which side of the moon do you think we would have more McDonald's on? The light side or the dark side? That's the question. Would the McDonald's on the dark side be 24 hours? Oh, 
here we go. We're gonna go walk by these people. There's a bunch of people waiting for the bus, so we're gonna go uh, loiter a little bit. They're like, oh crap, he's coming here this way. Shit, I don't wanna be on camera. Oh no, there's the bus, damn it. Oh well, now we know there's a bus right there. Hey, maybe the, oh, this guy's gonna run me over. Uh, yeah, so I explained the GTA 5 part how like I'll just stand in here and just really won't have any interactions with anybody for like 10 minutes and we'll just watch cars go by. Soylent Green, it's a movie and there's no coincidence that I tried to compare it with McDonald's. Let's see if I can just troll these people in the bus here for a second. Alright, right, back up here. So we'll come back here <clears throat> for that bus. Soylent Green. You can watch the movie, you know, and check it out, see if you can figure it out. It's fun, it's a better way to do that than to just get the answer online. I'll tell you this, it is definitely colder than it was yesterday. McDonald's. You eat too much McDonald's and you wake up the next morning and you're like, hey, I'm going to walk around in 
gym shorts and a basketball shirt in between classes. Uh-oh, police are on their way. Crap, they're a run. I wonder if there's heat in here. That would be nice. Like the tanning salon I had yesterday. Nope. It's not windy in here though. But there's no action. Gotta be where the action is. Well now. I mean, you're watching it live now. People will come in and out. More people will watch it later tonight. You laugh, but it's true, man. The moon is not a physical object that can be landed on. Yeah, I was there yesterday, and it just wasn't really productive. It's my fingers, actually. My fingers. It's a good thing they have a bathroom in the uh, Soylent Green manufacturing facility next door. Uh, where was I? I was by the stadium. Uh, Washington Avenue and whatever. The one there, um, two blocks away from Chipotle. See, some of these people, they look at the sign, they're just, oh, camp. I can't wait to be done with school so I don't have to stand in corner and solicit. That's what a lot of these college students are looking at me like. Like, oh my gosh, get a job. Pay your taxes. What's wrong with you? Uh, TCF Bank Stadium. Uh, but it's just, I think it's the weather that's keeping people from, um, coming outside. I mean, I know they got class and stuff, but. I'm going to switch hands here and warm up my hands. Hey, dude. How's it going, man? How's Thailand? I wish I was there right now, man. It is one degree here. Coffee. Yeah, I'll check it out. I got uh, a couple of places I'd like to stop by. I'd like to stay here and the university. The other thing too, but I mean, it's a plus and a minus waiting for people at the bus stop because there's people there. But once I start engaging somebody, they're going to be like, oh, I got to go, the bus is coming. And then we kind of lose that conversation. But I mean, yeah, it's worth it for sure. I was thinking about taking the train or the bus and just hanging out on there and holding the sign. And just chilling on there for a while. But I've never been on the city buses or the train yet, so I think I'll do that when it's nicer outside. 
so then if I get lost, I can walk. What are you carrying there, bud? Mystery case of beer. All right, man. Well, ten bucks. Hopefully, it's not Russian piss, right? Like on the ISS. No, it's all craft. Ah, okay. Right on. What are you doing? Oh, just hanging out, peddling knowledge. You believe in the moon landing? Believe in, believe in like, do you believe it's a physical object that can be landed on? You do. Wow. How much are you paying for college, man? That's a shame. <sighs> because his school told him it's got to be true. It's real stuff. What's up, Jojo? How you doing, man? <clears throat> run, dude, run. You're late. Yeah, I guess so, huh? Yeah, when's that St. Cloud and Rochester train coming? Right? NASA's really working on that for us. Let's see if I can just post up right here. See if there's anybody at that bus stop. <laughs> yeah, there's a couple people. Let's go down here. This guy thinks I'm following him. Why are you following me? Maybe I am, if he posts up here at the bus stop. <clears throat> We're going to totally make everybody uncomfortable here in a second. Watch this. I'm just going to do one of these guys here. There you go. So we're in front of five guys. It's a burger shop here. Boom. Yeah, they got pretty decent fries. That's for sure. I think I had a five guys... Probably two months ago? Let's get right here. Try to really get the uh, experience. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> 